Hey there, guys. This is Cole. Welcome back to another movie review. As you can tell, uh, we are continuing the horror uh, movie reviews. Uh, today, uh, for the month of October, I am continuing to review horror movies. And uh, and today's horror and today's horror movie is going to be a, 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 a recent movie. Now, this is a recent movie that... It came out in 2022. It is a part of a movie trilogy, and specifically, uh, these movies are directed by Ty West. And uh, I decided to check out this movie, Pearl, because I heard it's a prequel to the movie X. And I heard that if you're going to watch the whole trilogy, that Pearl would be the best spot you could start with. Uh, that you should start with that first is what I heard. So... Now, when it comes to uh, when it comes to movies like X Pearl and Maxine or the X X trilogy directed by Ty West, I mean, of you know, of course I had heard of these movies, you know, because I pay attention to horror movies old and new, but until tonight I never actually sat down and watched any of them until tonight. And uh now when it comes to the movie X, uh I have not seen that one either. Uh well, I do have I do have the movie X on DVD, but I haven't gotten around to watching it yet. But however, uh, I however I happen to I happen to be fr I happen to be friends with a movie reviewer on YouTube, Don G Corleone, and I know that he's a fan of these movies. And uh, and I you know I asked him you know I asked Don G Corleone like you know where where should I start with these movies and. Don G. Corleone told me that I should check out the the prequel movie Pearl and then watch X and Maxine right after. So, and Pearl was recently added to Netflix. So, and I have Netflix in my room. So I finally decided, and because a third movie came out this year, I wanted to see Maxine in theaters, but I didn't go see it because I had not seen the previous two movies. But after finally sitting down and watching Pearl, I can confidently say that I like. Now, after having sit down and watched the movie Pearl, uh, yeah, uh, I I really liked this movie. Now, it's not per you, when it comes to this movie Pearl, I really liked this movie. Now, it's not a flawless movie. It's not a masterpiece. It it does have well, I do have a flaw with the movie, which we'll get to. But at the end of the day, I really enjoyed this movie. And after watching Pearl, I am most definitely excited to watch the movie. Uh, I am most definitely excited to watch the movie uh, X next, which, like I said, I have that on DVD because I got it for like three dollars at Savers. But you know, uh, however, you know, I just had not gotten around to it until then. Uh, now, anyways, uh, now I'm not gonna go too in depth with this review because, well, I do that with a bunch of other movie reviews, but. Uh, all right, now, now, uh, now in ter now in terms of the cast for the movie Pearl, uh, you you got a pretty good cast. You got Mia Goff as the main character Pearl, and you got uh, the projectionist who is actually played by David Cornsweet, who is playing Superman in the new upcoming Superman movie directed by James Gunn next year. And I thought that he was good in the movie, and I definitely see him as Superman, but uh. Now, before I get into my review of the movie itself, um, I do have to talk about the plot of the movie. And so, uh, all right, guys. So he, all right, guys. So here is the official plot of the movie Pearl. Uh, in 1918, a lonely Texas girl by the name of Pearl is trapped on an isolated farm. Pearl must tend to her father under the watch of her mother. Lusting from the glamorous life she's seen in movies, Pearl, Pearl's temptations and representation, and, uh, re in a re sorry, uh, Pearl's uh, temptations and repossessions uh, collide. I guess that's the best way how I could describe it. So, so yeah, at the end of the day, I do really like this movie, but... Without further ado, let, let's get into my review of the movie Pearl. So the movie start. All right. Without further ado, uh, I am gonna keep this a bit of a shorter review, but uh, because I, I'm not gonna give away too much about this movie because 
I do encourage people to check this out if you guys have not seen this movie. Um, and like I said, it is on Netflix. Uh, I I'm sure it's on some other streaming services. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what. Uh, although personally for me, I personally prefer physical media over streaming. But but I don't have this movie on DVD and I just saw it was on Netflix. So I'm like, well, I guess I'll play. <laughs> I guess I'll watch the movie. And, you know, yeah, I liked it. And I am most definitely getting this movie on DVD, you know, when I get the opportunity to. But anyways, enough with the intro. Without further ado, let's get let's get into my review of the of the 2022 slasher movie Pearl. So the movie starts off with of so the movie starts off with of course our main so the movie starts off with of course our main character of the movie Pearl who is played by Mia Goth and Pearl just so happens to and now when now when it comes when it comes to the main character when it comes to the main character by the name of Pearl uh Pearl is this uh so yeah, uh the movie starts off with our main character Pearl who is played by Mia Goth and uh and Pearl just so happens to, and Pearl just so happens to be the type of girl who is obsessed with Hollywood movies and stuff like that. And Pearl, she wants to go off she wants to go off the farm that way she could be a movie star. However, her mother is not too keen on that idea and stuff like that. So so yeah, but however, of course, it's a slasher movie and we all and we all know with slasher movies that nothing and we all know that but of course this is a slasher movie and as we all know in slasher movies, nothing ever nothing very good comes out of, you know, and as we all know with slasher movies, uh it's not too good for a lot of the other characters, so to speak, but uh but yeah, uh when it comes to the char when it comes to the character Pearl played by uh, Mia Goth, uh, I thought I thought that she gave I thought that she gave a really good performance in this movie. In fact, like Pearl to me is now now granted she's like of the newer like when it comes to the like the modern now when it comes to the modern day horror movie icons like I'm talking like the newer villains in horror movies. Um, I mean, granted, uh, no, I mean, granted, like, the classic horror movie villains are always gonna be the best ones, but, like, there have been good newer horror movie villains, like, uh, like, like, for example, like, for example, uh, I think, I think that the Grabber, I think that the Grabber played by Ethan Hawke in the Black Phone, I thought that he was a pretty good horror movie villain, uh, uh, I also like Art the Clown from the Terrifier movies. I think he's a pretty good horror movie villain. And and Pearl, played by Mia Goff, I thought that she was a pretty good horror movie villain. And and when it comes to this movie, uh, I like I like the fact I like the fact that this movie is set during World War. I like the fact that this movie is set during World War One, which because because to be to be perfectly honest, until I watched this movie for the first time today. I had never watched a slasher movie take place during World War One, so I thought, okay, that's something a little unique and different for the genre. I thought that that was cool. But anyways, getting back to the review of the movie itself, like I said, like I said, we like I said, we are introduced to the main character Pearl and 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 at the be and at the beginning and and at the beginning of the movie pearl she is base she is basically taking care of the farm animals you know you know like the chickens and the cows and stuff like that however however you know like i said you know when it comes to the main character pearl she is taking care of like her farm animals like you know because she lives on the family with her, she lives on the farm with her mom and dad and stuff like that she's she has to take care of chickens and cows and stuff like that and goats etc cetera, etc cetera. And then the mo and then the movie takes a pretty and then the movie takes a dark turn where at the begin at the beginning of the movie, uh now granted it's not exactly right at the beginning, but it's like a couple minutes later where uh when it comes to the main character per Pearl played by Mia Goth, she literally kills a chicken with a pitchfork and stuff like that. And then she and then she starts carrying the chicken to uh, there's basically a dock by the swamp that Mia that uh that the main character Pearl or Mia Goff's uh, character 
lives by and uh and base and basically now when it comes to the main character pearl uh she has a dock that goes to the water and she has like this pet she has like a pet alligator and stuff like that and so you know you know now getting back to, getting back to the review of the movie itself at the beginning of the movie pearl she kind of goes insane she kills a chicken and she and she fe and she feeds the she feeds the dead chicken to this alligator and stuff like that. And then, you know, when it comes to the main character, Pearl, uh, when it comes to the main character by the name of Pearl, uh, she, when it comes to the main character by the name of Pearl, like I said, you know, she's obsessed with Hollywood movies and she wants to be a Hollywood star. But like I said, her mom is not too keen on the idea about it. And so, like I said, you know, uh, during that now, dur now, the, the now the beginning of this movie does take place during the daytime. And uh, now, getting back to the review of the movie itself, when it comes to the character of Pearl, uh, there is a scene where uh, there is a scene early on in the movie. Like, if I had to guess how far in the movie, it's like it's like it's at like if I had to guess how long in the movie we are. I would have to guess that this is at like the uh, I, if I had to guess it's at the 10 minute mark where where the main character by the name of Pearl she decides to go to the movie theater you know because like I said you know you know like her favorite hobby is watching movies and stuff like that and then you know uh, and now, now when it comes to the, when it comes to the main character of Pearl she is sitting in the theater like she has like a face mask over her because everyone is sick in the theater. She takes the face mask off. She eats some popcorn, but then puts it back on. And then eventually she walks out of the theater. And then and then we are and then we are and then we are introduced to a and then we are introduced to a character and the character. I mean, really, the only character name that this guy is given is the the projectionist. Now. Now, now, for those of you who have not seen this movie, who do not know who the projectionist is, uh, he is he is base he is basically the guy he is basically the guy in charge of the movie theater. And so, like I said, uh, the main character Pearl she decides to walk outside, and then the proje uh, the projectionist he he walk he walks outside he walks outside and he he asked Pearl he literally asked. He literally asked her, you know, hey, d did you enjoy the movie and stuff like that? And she's like, she's like, yes, I enjoyed the movie and stuff like that. However, uh, the projection, uh, the projectionist in this movie, like I said, is actually played by David Cornsweet, who is going to play Superman in the 2025 Superman movie directed by James Gunn. So I'm like, OK, it's cool to see him in here. And and I thought that David Cornsweet, he was rather good as a projectionist in this movie. Now, granted, he doesn't have a super big role, but the scenes he was in, I liked him in. And then, you know, uh, however, you, however, after, however, after, after the main, after the main character, after the main character by the name of Pearl, she decides to leave the movie theater. She goes home, she goes home to her parents and stuff like that. However, when it when it comes to the main when it comes to the main character when it comes to the main character by the name of Pearl, uh, she, uh, she has she has a best she has a best friend by the name of Mitzi, and Mitz and Mitzi is talking, and Mitzi decides to have a conversation with Pearl in private, and she literally she literally says to Pearl, you know, hey, uh, and she says to Pearl, hey, I know you're a big movie fan and stuff like that. And, and she and she decide and she decides to offer Pearl a, a a big opportunity to where where she could go to a church she can try dancing and acting skills and stuff like that and and if the people accept her she can officially be a movie star but but Mitzi she tells she literally tells Pearl but you cannot tell anyone that I told you about this it could be our little secret and stuff like that. Which that line of dialogue does play a, a part later in the movie, which I'll get to. However, Mitzi's mom is calling to her, "Come on, let's leave the house and stuff like that." And she's like, "I'm coming, mother," and stuff like that. Now, getting now getting back to the review of the movie itself. When it comes to the main character Pearl, uh, it is now night. It is now nighttime where 
Pearl, she decides to go at the movie theater because the projectionist played by David Cornsweet, he literally gave her the opportunity he gave her the opportunity to come back to the movie theater. She, he gave her the opportunity to come back to the movie theater and stuff like that so she could see a movie at nighttime. And, you know, he asked her, you know, hey, what movie do you want to watch? And she says what she wants to watch. And he's like, you already saw that. And he says to her, how about a movie you haven't watched yet? How about a movie that nobody has seen yet? And then he and then he put and then when it comes to the when it comes to the projectionist uh, played by David Cornsweet, uh he he plays a very dirty movie with a lot of nudity on it and stuff like that. And uh, and then, you know, Pearl, played by Mia Goff, is like, what is this? He's like, this this could be your chance to be an opportunity to be a star and stuff like that. And when it comes to the projectionist played by David Cornsweet, he tells Pearl that you got to practice your special dance and stuff like that. And uh, I'll see you by tomorrow and stuff like that. However, as the course of the movie goes on, things start to get more, things start to, uh, however, as the course of the movie goes on, we can see that Pearl, she is a determined character, and Pearl, she comes across as like a, an innocent girl at first, but of course, it's a slasher movie, so we all know, but that's not how it's gonna turn out, because Pearl, she starts off as a normal girl, but as the course of the movie goes on, she gets more psychotic and more deranged. And and like I said, the, the projectionist in this movie, played by David Cornsweet, there is a part later in the movie where he goes to Pearl's house and stuff like that, you know, like, because she lives on the farm. And uh, the projectionist says to Pearl, you know, hey, practice your dance and stuff like that. And however, Pearl has a feeling that he's lying about something. And he's like, no, I'm telling the truth and stuff like that. Because, like, the projectionist, he tells Pearl that I got to leave the house and stuff like that because I got to go to work, you know, like, you know, start up the projector for the people at the movie theater. However, Pearl, she becomes insane and she does not want him to leave. So she so she ends so she ends up killing the projectionist played by David Cornsweet and stuff like that. And then and then late and then later in the movie and then later in the movie, uh. Pearl, like I said, she wants to become a movie star, but her mom does not want her to. However, eventually her mom, sa she says to him, you know, she says to her, fine, but, but once you do not make, but once you fail, which you will, you will realize what it feels like and stuff like that. But then the mother is in a terrible accent, which I'm not going to get too much into because I do want people to, who are fans of the horror movie genre to check this movie out and, like I said, Pearl's dad is not doing the best, but uh anyways, anyways, getting getting back getting back to the review of the movie itself, when it comes to the main character by the name of Pearl, she is sitting outside of the of uh, the church with uh, with her best friend Mitzi and a bunch of other people. And then so Pearl, she goes and she goes inside of the building because they're, you know, they're performing that way if they get the role, they could be a movie star and stuff like that. And uh, and Pearl, played by Mia Goff, you know, she does a really good dance that, uh, and however, uh, the director of the show says, that was a very nice dance, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to say no. And then Pearl, you know, she starts screaming and crying and, you know, like, come on, it's not fair. I didn't get the part. I need this role. And then, uh, and then when it comes to, when it comes to Pearl's best friend, Mitzi and stuff like that, she says, uh, she says, I know it sucks, Pearl, but you don't have to make this big of a deal about it. And then so, and then so late, and then so later in the movie, Pearl, she goes back to her farmhouse. She, she confesses to Mitzi that, that she murdered the projectionist and her mother, but that she, that, but that she felt really bad about doing it and stuff like that. And she said, and she said, uh, I feel, I, I regret what I did so bad. I regret it. I regret to admit this, but it felt good and stuff like that. And, and like, uh, however, you know, Mitzi decides to walk away and then, uh, and then Pearl was like, uh, are, do you think I'm sick? And she's like, no. And she says, you know, and like I said, you know, getting back to that line of dialogue where she says, uh, oh, uh, 
because I forgot to mention this, but like uh, there's a part of the movie where uh, right before Pearl, played by Mia Goff, tries out, uh, she decides like, you know, like uh, like her friend Mitzi tells her, like, if you don't get the part, it, hey, if I don't get the part of a show, if you get it, that's what counts, right? Well, that line of dialogue plays back into the part because Pearl asked Mitzi, hey, you got the part, right? And she's like, no. And she's like, don't you lie to me and stuff like that. And then Mitzi decides to walk away from the farm. However, of course, it's a slasher movie, so we all know it's not going to go well. So Pearl, played by Mia Goth, she walks outside. She takes a, she takes an axe, and she kills her best friend, Mitzi. And, and Mitzi's like, please don't kill me. I'll do anything. She says, it's not about, uh, it's not about doing, uh, it's not about what you'll do at this point. Uh, uh, it's, so it's, so basically, so basically what's happening and stuff like that is that she says, she says to Mitzi, it's not what you do at this point. It's what I have, uh, it's what I have left in my life. And she kills her best friend, Mitzi. And then at the end of the movie, uh, 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 Pearl's love interest, Howard arrives at the house and he sees the dead parents. And then, and then Pearl played by Mia Goff is smiling. And then the movie, uh, the movie credits are over. And so, yeah. At the end of the day, this is a pretty good movie uh, directed by Ty West. Uh, I rather liked, uh, I rather liked this movie. So yeah, uh, on a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give Pearl a nine out of ten, and I am definitely excited to watch the movie X now. Which, I, not, yes, I know X is the first movie, but I decided to watch this movie first because this movie is a prequel to X. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my review, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.